the Food and Drug Administration, food is the first letter. Uh, so talk to me in, in a, a fairly high level um, the role not just that your office plays in keeping the food, uh, safe, uh, food system safe, uh, but how important that is to the overall public health mission to the agency. Well, protecting the food supply, making it safe, making it nutritious is uh, one of the most fundamental duties of government and then, of course, of FDA. Uh, for a hundred years, the public has really depended on FDA to set standards to, to prevent food from being contaminated, uh, to set uh, standards for labeling of food so people can know what they're buying and hopefully choose healthy diets. So when you think about the importance of food to public health, to the health of people, uh, there's really nothing more fundamental. And what is the role of the Office of Foods? That's a new office. Well, it, it is a new office. It, it came into being uh, last year. Uh, it was really a response to the, the new challenges that we have uh, in the food supply, uh, really driven in large part by food safety concerns, the series of outbreaks of foodborne illness uh, associated with familiar uh, commodities, fresh produce, lettuce, peanuts, uh, and so forth. And a realization that while FDA has a long history, you know, working hard on food safety, has a lot of people you know, doing uh, things that have worked in the past, we really need to look ahead to the future and figure out how we can uh, meet today's challenges. And, and so the Office of Foods was brought about to, uh, to unify the FDA Foods Program, to elevate it, and to prepare it for the, for the future. We have a new uh, a piece of legislation that's coming through Congress that is going to really change and modernize FDA's job all for the better. Uh, the Office of Foods is really responsible for, for being sure that we use those tools well uh, to protect food safety. So what are the components of the Office of Foods? Well, the Office of Foods uh, really oversees a foods program that has three major operating units, uh, two in headquarters, the Center for Food Safety and Applied Nutrition and the Center for Veterinary Medicine. This is where the, uh, most of the scientists uh, work, uh, policy people, this is where standards are set. But then there's a large field force um, in FDA's Office of Regulatory Affairs which is spread all across the country, and these are the people who conduct the inspections, do the laboratory work, uh, bring the enforcement cases to be sure that standards uh, are being met. And, and your position is a new one? Yeah, my position as Deputy Commissioner for Foods is a new one, is to lead the Office of Foods and really work with the entire foods program uh, to, to meet these critical new uh, mission goals of preventing foodborne illness and, and enhancing uh, uh, the ability of consumers to choose a healthy diet. If you were to pick one or two words to define what your mission is, what, it, what, what are those words or what is that word? Well, on food safety, it's preventing foodborne illness. I mean, we don't want people to get sick. We want to put in place measures that can prevent the possibility of people getting sick. Uh, and that's the watchword. That's really what public health is all about generally, and it's certainly what we're focused on in food safety. And this really means ensuring that everyone across the food system, producing food, processing it, uh, marketing it, are doing the things they can do at each step of that process to reduce the likelihood that a hazard will come in, a contaminant will enter the food that could make people sick. And our job is to really hold all those participants in the commercial food system accountable for implementing you know, modern preventive measures. That's the heart of our, our responsibility. In the past, uh, the FDA hasn't had the authority to go in and say, do it. It was more, would you do it? Uh, well, yeah, and I think really relying on uh, our authorities to correct problems after the fact, to detect problems that, that occurred, contamination incidents, foodborne illness outbreaks, and responding. The new law is going to mandate prevention. It's going to give us tools to hold companies accountable for prevention. And that really means implementing uh, the kind of really common sense measures that many food companies already implement. It's just a matter of knowing where the possible hazards could come into a food production process. You know, what, are, what are the possibilities of contamination? And then putting in place you know, measures to prevent those, those problems. And so this is a huge shift, though. It's common sense, but it's a huge shift from FDA's role of reacting uh, to really leading and, and, and holding companies accountable for prevention. Uh, you, at the beginning, you noted that, that uh, safety is just one part of your job, and ensuring nutrition is another. Could you talk a little bit about that? Well, this is really, I think, increasingly recognized as a, as a central part of FDA's role, as we're very uh, aware of the role of, of diet and health, in particular obesity. Um, but also chronic disease. People with the dietary imbalances, too much fat, too much sodium, can, can uh, have higher risk of cancer and hypertension uh, and, and diabetes. Uh, very importantly, the First Lady, Michelle Obama, is leading a major obesity initiative. 
uh, to try to you know, improve the diets, particularly of kids, and prevent childhood obesity in, this, uh, in the next generation. Um, and she sees FDA's role in, in food labeling as central to that. And we're, we're uh, leading an initiative uh, as part of the First Lady's effort uh, to improve the, the quality of the information that consumers get on the front of packages about nutrition. You know, we've got the familiar nutrition facts panel on the back of packages. We want to put some reliable information that consumers can use, you know, in the rushed supermarkets of today you know, to make these choices between, you know, healthier products and those that aren't so healthy. And we're going to do this based on good research. We're going to work with the, the food industry. But by the end of this year, we really hope to be, you know, pursuing uh, some, some new labeling that will help consumers uh, choose healthier diets. It's a huge job and a very complex job whether it's safety or nutrition, uh, moving a big institution along uh, and also moving Congress and moving, moving industry. How confident are you uh, that you can be successful? Well, I'm very confident and it has nothing to do with me really. I mean, the agency is full of people who are very committed to the public health goal, who really embrace the challenge and opportunity that we've got on both food safety and nutrition. Uh, and we've got broad support to do this work from Congress, from the administration, and from the president on down and the first ladies I've already mentioned, and the public is aligned. The food industry, consumer groups are all seeing that this is a time when we do have to make some really fundamental shifts in our program and really take it to a new level. So, you know, I, I think those, the forces are aligned, and I'm, you know, I just feel fortunate to be in a position to work with the people that are, you know, that are committed to this and, uh, and working together to make it happen. I, I think it's going to happen. How important is it to this overall mission that you report directly to the commissioner? I think it's very important. I, I think, uh, you know, when you have multiple subcomponents of an, of an agency uh, working on the same topic, um, uh, you've got a commissioner who's uh, got lots of things to be concerned about. I think it is very important that the foods program, because it is so primary, function in a unified way and be elevated so that the leadership of the, of the program is directly linked with the commissioner. It's not just me personally, you know, we've formed a leadership team within the foods program that has the top leaders of these three major units, Center for Food Safety, Center for Veterinary Medicine, Office of Regulatory Affairs, the Field Force. We are a part of a common executive leadership team for the foods program, which is directly linked with the commissioner. So, you know, it's really the program has been brought closer to the commissioner, and I'm, I'm the person who you know, happens to sit at the top, but uh, it's as part of a team that is really connected closely with the commissioner. So why did you choose to do this? You, uh, you, you could do almost anything within this field, but you've chosen to come back to the FDA. Uh, why is that? Well, I started my career at FDA back in the 70s as a staff lawyer. I was back in the 90s as Deputy Commissioner for Policy. FDA has been in my blood since day one, and so uh, when the commissioner you know, made th this opportunity available, I really couldn't say no. And, and you know, really the, her commitment uh, to doing this, to, to elevating the program, you know, to moving in this new direction, the passion she feels for both the safety and nutrition side of the mission, you know, it's just irresistible. So I'm exactly where I should be.